I'm uh, Charlie Miller, and I'm Lou's surgeon from the Cleveland Clinic. Last night, at the last night of the Bardo, I told the story of um, Lou's illness and coming to Cleveland and his willingness to fight for his life and how we went through it together. Tonight I thought I'd tell you about how we came from doctor-patient to friends. You're all his friends, so you can understand much of what I'm going to tell you. When a patient shows up, you just start to look for something in common. I had no idea. Rock icon, surgeon from the Cleveland Clinic, what could we have in common? Well, actually, we both have our roots in New York, grew up here, and loved New York. And we also loved at least the east end of Long Island. I don't want Long Island to get dissed all night long. <laughs> And we both, I think, really enjoyed thinking outside the box and teaching young people, I've learned. So when Lou first came, he was very sick, as you all know. And part of what the, this liver disease does is takes part of your mind, part of your emotion. And before the transplant, Lou had to come to Cleveland off and on to get certain therapies. And he was getting sicker and sicker. And a little crabbier and crabbier as time went along. And one time he was about to go back to, he wanted to get back to New York really badly, and he called me and said, Charlie, please, come, let me out of here, I want to go home. I said, Lou, I'll be there just as soon as I can. I'll walk over and I'll say goodbye. And on the way over, I got a phone call. The liver had materialized, almost out of seemingly thin air, for Lou. So I walked in and I said, hi Lou, I know you want to go home, but I've got another idea. I think I have a liver for you. He said, are you shitting me? <laughs> I said, no, I think I have a liver for you. As soon as it gets here, I'll look at it and we'll... He said, when can we go? When can we go? When can we do it? I said, a couple of hours. He said, all right, let's go. Just like that. Not a fear in his eyes. Nothing. And off we went. Now I'll tell you. This is the first time I've ever sewn in a liver to the rhythm of my patient's music. And I'll tell you, sewing to walking on the wild side ain't too bad. <laughs> it was a beautiful operation. And after that, this, is a, this, this operation takes the measure of a man. And Lou measured up in every way and more. And as the, as the, we call it encephalopathy, as the mind clears and his energy returned, we started to talk. And by the way, Lou not only talked a lot, but he was a really insightful, really good listener. And so we began to share things about our lives, about our mentors. I got to learn about Andy Warhol, you got to learn about my mentors. Our, our dreams, our desires to teach people what we know, our love for the air, for the sun and the water of East Hampton, just breathing that air, for great food. And we were able to share the summer in East Hampton together. It was something I'll never forget. It was extremely special. And I learned recently that Lou, in his poetic best, and I'll never ever forget this, said, you know, Charlie's like a new old friend. It means a lot to me. And I'll tell you, I spoke to Lou all the time. If it wasn't in the Hamptons and I was in Cleveland, we spoke on the phone all the time. And my wife Erica reminded me tonight no matter how complicated or difficult or fun the conversation was, it was always ended by Lou and saying, I love you, Charlie. And I said, I love you, Lou. We all love you, Lou. Thank you.